Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Incoming!
Can you imagine being frozen for 10 years, sailing through space in a room such as this? Shoot! I'm with- I oh, haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Not sure how long ago that was. McGred tends to incinerate anyone who comes by. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger.
Fantastic, we've got them. Now we can move on to cleaner pastures. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided, if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. A shame, but I won't hold it against you. The lighter's enough to file for the insurance payment. Long as his fees are cleared, I'll call it justice served. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. With that bastard McRed dead, there ain't much else in the offing. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information needed. This is Halcyon News. We You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you.
Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information needed to the capture of U.S. terrorist video 12. Report any sightings to your local board chief. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Hey there, you might. I'd surely love to. Gosh, I wouldn't dream of it. Not unless she's a good ship, ma'am. Mostly doesn't act up at all. Happy to hear it. Have yourself. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... their droppings. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there. I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. I don't intend to be. It's just a matter of trust. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine, really. Now, if you've nothing... Rizzo's... Wildflower can be shelved around a 
Hey, you got a second? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. I'll just gather my personals and... Really? We're picking up strays now? Look at that. A real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. Remember, items in the hold. Hey, Captain. Can... What? No. If it were, I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well... She sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. Oh, Law, that's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the veil, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Junlei, I just... Couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. 
Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June and I talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? <sighs> maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Stay safe out there. Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it, blast it. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Mind the mess, sir. I haven't had a visitor since, uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. What's on your mind? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite... Regardless, 
It's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my... No, and I've been... Nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Why don't you just invite the entire colony? Oh, fine. As long as you... For what it's worth, I... I picked you out of the hope for your... Yes, indeed. Well done. What's on your... my communications terminal. I hope you're not thinking of ingratiating. They might tempt you with promise. What's on? The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. This is my favorite...
room. It's so spacious. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Oh, no, that's just, that's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake thinking about what June Lay said and feeling my heart shake. Sure, Captain. I'm ready when you are. Can we do this now? Oh, when... I'm drunk's what I'm aiming for, so I'll take your word on it. Bottoms up! Whoa! Easy there, Parvati. Maybe you want to work yourself up to whiskey next time. Oh! No, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like... Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Huh. Yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about June Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automech with a busted nav chip. You want to know what I think? I think you should write what you want to say down in your hand. Always work for me. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Water's for cowards! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... <sighs> I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... She gets bored of me. Oh, 
there's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? What do you mean, Captain? So I should just be myself? You sound like my dad. It's... sweet. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. P pancake mix. Now we're fires no mixing. Oh neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. I wonder if they got some type of secret handshake. Some light from life. The corporations never lifted a finger from me.
I can always fix them later. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. You're right, I don't. The board is after. I like to think of myself as a nice person. The board wants con- I play too much of- got Frustrating. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or- Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducks and panels, we could work something out. You've got my attention.
you aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it. Well, yeah. Of course, we're about... Our primary... The events... That'll put the whole system in a right... We've got backup auxiliary... Yeah, I'm working. But allocating the personnel loss for... I should say... I hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. It's not like they're in high demand. I'm sure the state... You look like someone who's taken their... We also have a... RT greeting, put this unit dispatch. Beginning dispatch. If you're hungry, you've come to the right. They're terror fright. Fresh from the ground. CNP Borst Pockets can be macroed in two and a half seconds. Borst Pockets. <laughs> Is it just me, or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Oh, it's Martin. Hey, Martin. Still wearing the hat? How observant. I'm authorized to state that this uniform is more than a... Oh, a lot of... Heard of it, my or... Yeah, I hope they're gonna be okay. That's a spacious choice, Spear. Take what you have, I'll... So, what can I... Shit. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I mean... Uh, as the face of... Uh, have a look.
interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Military service does not guarantee...